to present, together with Michael Picca, the president of the Lighthouse Development Group. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff, and uh, good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to be here again. We were just here the other day, as a matter of fact, so you get to know this building very well. Uh, I want to change the format a little bit. What I want to do more now is really leave more time and room for Q&A. A lot of you have seen the different things that we've shown and have probably heard us speak. This is our 196, I think, uh, community outreach uh, meeting. 196 of these, so if I sound mm -hmm. like redundant in some ways, probably because I've heard it already. But what I want to do today is really show you uh, two videos, which really expresses what we think of the project and so on, gives you a good highlight of the project, then really give you the opportunity to really ask all the questions. I'm going to emphasize again to all of you, the Lighthouse Project is not going to solve all the things that we have to do to make Long Island, Nassau County viable again. We got problems, and we got some major problems here. Population in Nassau County has an increased in 40 some years. Boy, but the rhetoric and the noise level of all of the things that's wrong has certainly increased. It is will not solve all of it. We're not going to fix all the transportation problems. We're not going to fix all of the issues. <coughs> what we set out to do from the very beginning was we hope that this will be the catalyst. This will get us going again. Little did I know that the process was a little bit longer than I had envisioned. <laughs> Some people laugh, but I'm a patient man, and I say it, I say it again. Um, my, my hope is that we do this here, because we really are invested here. If you look at what, and you can see that, uh, R, it's RXR, by the way, that's my partner, Scott Reckler. It's not, it's not EAB Plaza, it's not Rex Corp Plaza, it's RXR Plaza. And you can see that. We own that. We own the Marriott Hotel. We own the Omni. Why would we, people who have a vested interest in this area, screw it up? It doesn't make sense. And yet everyone looks at this as, oh my god, these evil developers are here. They're going to do this. They're going to do this. We're not that dumb. Okay, really. We're not good. Because if we screw it up where people can't get to the hotel, we're going to lose business. If we have it so it's impossible for people to really work at RxR Plaza or the Omni, we're going to have empty floors. We don't want to do that. We believe that we have a project here, working with the county, working with the town, that we have a hope for Nassau County. And it can be a great catalyst. We can really, this could be a good, swift kick in the butt for every, everybody. And I look around, and I'm, I'm probably one of the older people here, and I've been here longer than most of you. Okay? I've been here now. 57 years. So I've been here. I, didn't, I wasn't here in 47, I have to say, but I came five years after that. I've seen the different things. I've seen Grumman come and go and so forth. I've seen all the changes, and we have to now reinvest in our county. This is our home. With that, what I'd like to do is show you a video first that talks about what it is we're trying to do, because a lot of things I say, you, you'll see it in the video. And let's roll. Bring some popcorn for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, the techies are rolling the tape for me. I just got to tell you, Mr. Watt, we share your frustration at times at a planning commission with the slow pace. And we just finished a comprehensive review of all our rules and regulations and procedures. And we hope to make it an expedited review, but a thorough review. And that's why we started here tonight in advance of the town <coughs> final decision, because we want to be in a position to meet your timetables. Thank you. In the early 1900s, Mitchell Field was the center